Um, I'd like to thank you very, very much for um, the opportunity of being here today. It's an absolute privilege and honour um, to be standing here as uh, category winners, uh, and we're very privileged. My name is Sue Morgan. I'm a Teenage Cancer Trust nurse consultant, and uh, I've worked with children and young people with cancer for about 20 years now. And I'm Louise Porter. I'm lead nurse for healthcare transition of children and young people at Leeds Teaching Hospitals Trust as well. And I'm a nurse by background, children's nurse, and worked in children's services for 20 years. And I've been working in my current role for about 18 months now. She has. Right, the Batman and Robin. <laughs> um, so we're going to talk to you about something that we've developed for children and young people in Leeds Children's Hospital Trust that can be used on phones and on iPads. I've got my phone here just in case my cat tweets me or something. You never know. Um, so we're going to talk to you about a website that, that we have developed and just a little bit of history really. Working with young people with, with cancer, we worked with um, somebody called Mark Wilkinson who's a director of a firm called Mosaic North. Um, and together with him, about 12 years ago, we developed something called JTV Cancer Support, which um, which is, is for children young, uh, with young for young people with cancer to relive their journeys uh, on, a, on a website um, for other community of people in the community to watch those experiences. So in discussion with him, we thought it would be really good if we could have this for the children's hospital, not just for cancer patients, but for all children and young people um, who are in hospital for whatever reason. Um, and so together with him, we put in, uh, in a bid and we got some money from the Hospital Charitable Trust um, in order to fund this project. And Louise is just going to describe the website for you now. Thank you, Sue. So the, the website is um, a website-based TV station, we like to call it, and it is based, well, it's set up around um, capturing patient experience, so the experience of children and young people within hospital. So they could make their own films on an iPad or any smartphones, they all tend to have them these days, they keep telling us we're old because we don't know how to work them and they keep sorting them out for us. Blackberries are so last year apparently. Yeah, yeah, and don't hashtag because that's for old people. <laughs> um, so the site is really easy to use and the idea is that they made their own films and they upload them to the site. Um, they can scroll through and they can have a look at films. So quite quickly when we um, set the site up we realised that actually this is a perfect way to give information to children, young people and families. Um, and what we decided to do was actually just film all the wards. So all the wards in Leeds Children's Hospital we were going to film a welcome to so they could have a look at the ward before they came in and they had all the senior sisters, charge nurses doing a little welcome to. Quite quickly we thought oh better do a welcome to the children's hospital so we did that and then we had the play specialist coming forward saying hang on a minute this is a really good way to prepare patients for procedures so we went through the top 10 procedures and we said right what are the common things x-ray ct mri how can we help so what we did was we filmed um, children or young people having the procedure with a professional talking about the procedure but the most important thing was to get a young person talking about the procedure they were really keen to be filmed talking about the procedure what we found out is the younger end are much more cooperative than the older end they get a little bit shy when they get into the teens um, but they're absolutely amazing so we do use the films as preparation while they're in hospital or if they're coming into hospital there's a little link on the letters when they're coming in so they can they can check it out from home if they forget anything then they can look back there's also I believe nurse for transitions so of course had a transition page within that um, so I negotiated um, a whole section within transition and that's building over time so we've been working on this project for about two and a half years Years, but actually was only launched last year so we've done really really well we've got a hundred films on the site already the idea is that the films are embedded into the site so we didn't go with um, the YouTube format that a lot of people were using the reason for that is because when they look at the films at the end of the film you probably see a recommended film and we have no control over the recommendations that come up and some of them were really inappropriate so for safeguarded reasons obviously we don't have that at all so the site is fully um, manned by Mosaic North and um, they're a very small team absolutely brilliant team to work with and I've led on kind of organizing the filming which can be a bit of a challenge sometimes when you're trying to film A&E and they suddenly say there's a bed crisis you can't come in and you have to quickly gather other people together for films so it's been really really interesting. So what's good about it Sue? What's good about it? It's innovative, it's the first um, such site of its kind uh, in the UK and it's the 21st century approach that that can be replicated across the country. We have the building blocks to be moved to another area uh, in order for you, or if you wish to, to develop your own films and to develop your own site. 
Um, it's a unique information source, um, which is available to everyone. Anyone can click on it. And when we got the stats of who was actually looking at it, I think we had somebody from Bahrain who was having a look at it in Turkey. Um, number one was Leeds, clearly, because that's where we are. But it, it's gone all around the country of people looking on this and professionals looking at it um, from, from a professional point of view, learning from young people, learning from the parents and learning from each other. Um, it demystifies the hospital experience for children, which can be a very a terrifying um, event for them. Um, and it's now becoming very familiar to children and young people. They live by their phones, by iPads, by technology. I've got a two-year-old grandson who can work a smartphone better than I can, swiping it away and pressing buttons when he wants to train. <clears throat> it's also patient-led. It's been shaped and created by and with Children and young people and their views have been embedded throughout everything that we do. And they, they, they create the contact for themselves that they think would be useful for them and their peers. Not what, was, what we think would be useful, but what they think would be useful. And it's current, it's constantly evolving, uh, and it's meeting the needs of children and young people in the wider community. And we've recently just done um, a film... Um, that, that Kath had talked to us about, uh, Kath Evans had talked to us about, um, of a young lad with, with Down syndrome and, and, and heart difficulties leading us through um, his cardiac outpatients. And then once we'd filmed it, we actually filmed him signing, um, telling people what he was doing. So that has been a very widely looked at and watched video. So the results are absolutely astounding. We had um, 12,000 views to the site in just 10 months. It was absolutely amazing. And like Sue says, we can actually see where people are accessing and actually how many films they're accessing if they're using more than one film when they, when they view the site and how many times they may come back to that. Also, um, whether they're within our kind of remit within Leeds and outside of Leeds. So we can look at the popular films, what are the things that are actually trending and, and what, where are the gaps to um, make more films really. So we talked about like therapeutic effects as well, and it is very inclusive. Um, Sue's just touched on the learning disabilities, and we've been doing a lot of training around learning disability staff champions. We use the films at board level and, and for training of staff as well, and the feedback has been absolutely amazing. I'm just a bit conscious of time, and we've got a little film to show you, because we want to show you the um, young person's experience of LCH TV. So I'll just skip along to that. <laughs> Children's Hospital, one of the largest children's hospitals in the country. So, when you get a cat in your lap, a CT scan. The scans are very easy. Hi, my name is Maisie, and I'm going to be telling you what an X-ray is like. And then every time, like, like the engine beeps in the middle of the night, that's always annoying. I'm like, I'm just doing still. The good is to, like, see the poor workers every day. Uh, welcome to Order 11. Oh, hello, my name's um, Sharon Frost, I'm the team leader of L47. Hi, my name's Graham Douglas. I'm the ward manager for Ward L32, which is also known as the Children and Teenage Bull Marrow Transplant Unit. Very quickly, 
It's the future of information giving for all young people, patients, uh, not just children and young people. The blueprint for other children's hospitals, and we've got further potential to collaborate, and we've already collaborated with um, Diabetes DigiBeat, who've also put their films on there as well. Um, and we have just received funding for a further two years. Oh, I'm out. And, and a true collaboration with families and friends, young people, and it's constantly evolving. Thank you very much. <laughs>